All right, I'm going to talk a little bit about Zoom, how to get into Zoom, how to test your microphone and your speakers, and how to navigate in Zoom. So the first thing I do when I launch Zoom is I get this. Um, I'm going to start a meeting, and um, that process varies a little bit with the computer that you have or the device that you're using. So I'm just going to go straight to this part. Um, join with computer audio and test speaker and microphone. I can test the speaker and microphone to get started and that's probably a good idea before you go into a meeting to make sure your speaker and your microphone are working. So I'm going to click that and the computer says, did you hear a ringtone? And I can hear it. So that means that my speaker is working. So I'll say yes. Speak say yes. and pause. Do you hear replay? Hello, hello. Do you hear replay? Hello, hello. I heard myself echoing. I heard myself echoing. So that means my mic and my speaker are working. So I'm going to go ahead and join with computer audio. And um, I'm actually in there. Um, and so this is what I'll see. Let me do it again. Join with computer audio. So I am in uh, the meeting right now. I, I am the host of the meeting. So my controls will, will differ than yours uh, just a little bit. But look at the bottom. I have mute. I have start video uh, and some other things. So right now I'm going to start my video. Uh, and so there's me. I'm in the meeting. And uh, I can mute the audio if you're having problems. A lot of times when you get into a meeting, you might have some distracting noises or you may get some feedback, something like that that's going on. So being able to mute your audio is a good idea. So if I mute my audio, see there's a slash through that. If I click it again, it unmutes it. So that's always a big problem when um, when you get into a meeting and somebody starts talking and you can't hear them, you can. it's hard for, for you to even tell them to unmute, but that's down there in the bottom. And then uh, you can stop your video if you want to by clicking that button. And at this point, you would see everybody else in the meeting, so you can continue to watch the meeting. But there's nobody else in this meeting but me right now, so that's why you don't see other people. So uh, you can do that. You can start and stop your video. If you're having some video issues, you can always go here and you can go um, to the video settings and uh, you may play around with your video settings in there. You can choose a virtual background. I have a virtual background. This is not really what your, your this is not my real background. Uh, it's being replaced by Zoom. My real background is being replaced by Zoom with this picture that I um, uploaded to it. So you could play around with this. You can change your cameras if you have two different cameras. I have two different ones here. You can change those cameras. So that's your video settings and your um, on your audio settings, you can click this button right here and you can go in and you can check your audio settings. There's lots of things you can do here. Again, you can test your speaker like we did going in. You can test your mic. So those are always very good. And there's a lot of other things you can do with this, actually, uh, if you do some advanced. So if you're having issues with audio, that's a good place to start. All right. So the, these are very important buttons. Uh, you can stop your video uh, and you can mute your um, your audio if you need to. Now, uh, when you're normally um, normally you're you're going to see other people in here and there's two buttons up here where you can choose between a gallery view or the speaker view speaker view the person speaking. Um, the one who's the loudest, uh, you know, whoever uh, Zoom picks up as being loudest is the speaker. So if you're in speaker view, you see that one person on your screen. If you're in gallery view, and you should see that in the upper upper corner of your screen, if you're in gallery view, uh, you'll see everybody, uh, and including the speaker, but you'll be, have a grid of people that you'll see. I think you'll see that when you get into the meeting. So. Um, uh, one thing I want to talk to you about is how to share your screen because it's one thing I'm going to have you do. Uh, you can see this. There's a share screen here. And when you get into um, your breakout room in the first assignment, you're going to go to a breakout room and I'll put you in a breakout room. But then you'll once you're in there, you're going to have to share your screen and um, your video. Make sure those are and your audio. So you make sure these are not muted and then you're going to share your screen. Let me talk about how to do that. I can click share screen. And then it gives me choices of things to to share here. I can share individual windows that I might have open, right? But I can also go straight to and share my whole screen. So if I do that and I click share, you'll be seeing everything that's on my screen at this moment. So that's what's on my screen at the moment. And uh, then you can I, you should be able to see that. Uh, I should be in the upper right hand corner. Do you see how I'm in the upper right hand corner? And you would be seeing this if I shared my screen with you. So I can go to, you know, different websites and you can I can demonstrate things to you. I can say, let's let's get into uh, Blackboard and things like, of that nature. So you can you can demonstrate. So uh, you can stop your you'll have a little uh, uh, this may be at the top. 
um, of your screen. It depends on um, the computer where it puts it. But this is uh, my controls for my screen sharing right now. I can stop my sharing if I want to. Uh, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And you'll see I'm back to the Zoom meeting. So share your screen. Click here. Choose your screen to share. That This will share your full screen so I can see everything. Uh, the person can see everything. So now you can notice you can see everything. Uh, I don't have my taskbar um, in this recording, but you can see that as well. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. And that's how you get into, um, that's how you share your screen. Um, we're going to talk about breakout rooms, and I'll talk about that later, but I'm going to put you in a breakout room. A breakout room, the purpose of a breakout room is so that if uh, you have 100 people in a meeting, but you want to break out into smaller groups, then you could you could uh, be assigned into breakout rooms. And so uh, the, the host of the meeting can create breakout rooms. You can't create if you're in a meeting, you can't create your own breakout rooms. But the host of a meeting can create the breakout rooms. What I'm going to do for um, for this first assignment is I'm going to put each of you into your own individual breakout rooms. And then I'm going to ask you to share your screen, share your audio and share your video. Because uh, that's what we're going to be doing on the first exam. If you're if you're in an online class and you're taking uh, your exam online, I'm going to have you go into a Zoom breakout room and then share your video, then share your audio. Um, so that's what you would do. And I'll talk more about breakout rooms actually when we have. I'm going to end the meeting for all. And I'm done and I'm going to finish this video.